Welcome back. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Episode 1, 2, 3. I think it's probably time to uh, get back to some story missions. Hoping this will allow me to uh, gain some trust in this area. I need your eyes, my friend. It seems Elderman Beerstan has made this ruin his longhouse. Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Lord? Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Pearson, the elderman of the Shire. Our Lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. What does that mean, usual fashion? His household is as poorly run as his man. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. My sweater runner is a worthy woman, you coxcomb. She's an excellent cook. With a fine nose for truffles. With a fine nose for truffles. If Birston does not return soon, wine will not be the only. You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. You don't speak as one from here. Where's your home? These rain-sodden bogs and fog-washed hills are not my home, thank Christ. I come from Francia. My grandfather walked on Frankish sod. He spoke of an appetite for conquest that rivaled our own. Sadly, my conquests are reduced to pettish thanes and graceless men. All Frankish fire extinguished. I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way.
What was that? A person? Just lying there? Okay then. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. They were caught off guard as they supped. The remains of the hunting body. This one was savaged by a large animal. Attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. Bear. I can only hope that Bierstam still lives. In my eyes, Zunin. Houston, ready your weapon, or accept your fate as a feast for bears. Ha! Your weapon strikes true. You've established enough men today, beast. Well fought, friend. I would not have survived this ambush without you. You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest. So it's definitely, definitely a little bit of an age difference there in the. I'm Estrid Sand. In the marriage. The pains of Essex both want your balls in a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? You speak ill of your wife. Has your love faded, or were you ill-matched? As family, we are as close as Cain and Abel. She is a willful woman, and I am a bad husband. You know me, it seems. Only by reputation. A deliciously teasing sentiment. I am Abel of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. We lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Piston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Piston. Do not fret. 
My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub. I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. But maybe I can speed your business along. of their displeasure. Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beeston. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. When the months are coldest, the mistletoe is full grown, cloaked in her winter strength. Meaning that we should weather this? Stay strong? Yes, that's it. Not bend in the wind like stalks of wheat. And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? He should put his own ham fist in his purse and contribute coin to the festival. Yes. You worry about the cost of such a festival, one that thanks God for our great harvest, uh, contribute your own coin, then. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adred does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The field. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Do they not defend your land? You'll need all the men you can muster to fight the coming wars. The Danes are a great threat when provoked. Those we cannot ally with, we must fight or lose our lands. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Beeston. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Beeston. Aren't you worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. But you will... You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. I notice your love has gone sour. Was it fresher than this? <laughs> there is so little difference between love and hate. 
It's difficult to say where the sourness comes from. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I'm too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Does your god not allow husbands and wives to part? Our god? Our king? There is much standing in the way of a joyous uncoupling. Ours was an arranged marriage, a political need, and not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Francia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship, with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Eivor. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. The only thing that keeps my brain thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Molden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. So he's not sure she's even around? Alvida first. I'll meet with Estrid at the marketplace. She will remember you, won't she? Yet what if she's married already? It's so Yeah, it's like he doesn't even know. Well, she doesn't want him. Someone was interrupted preparing their supper. Taken or fled. Hunger. 
You have my sister. Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister. That's all. A day in Essex. Now, here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. Do you know where they're holding Olvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. Go get her. See you, old friend. Thank you, horsey. Four.
I heard somebody coming. Look at me go. Is there a guy right there? Where'd he go? Might be everybody. I think I may have taken out everybody. This key should unlock Alvida's cage. This must be Birsten's love, Alvida. They haven't broken her spirit. What? What is this? You're not one of them. Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. 
they were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend. I should have seen it. A hood should work. The poor. I got you. Uh, my leg. It pains. Bless the saints. We're almost there. Here you are, sister. Safe and well. G gentler. Please. Rest now. Soon you will be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshine milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Olvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. I'm here at the request of Elderman Beeston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Pearson, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife, Estrid, returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He'll come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he'll ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... My apple blossom girl, is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. Is that really her brother? Seems, again, it seems like a big age difference. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. And this young lad is Elleridge, Olvida's brother. Hello, your... Your worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... How old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Beerstan. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elleridge, I'd suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. <laughs> Get it? Now to plan the kidnap. Estrid waits for me. Dear Beerston, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. I never stopped thinking of you, Alvida.
not gonna get going on that. So... Might as well head back up here and grab some stuff in the town. Game of all, to come back for that. What the crap? How do I get there? Okay, I was gonna say, like, wait a minute here. It's not adding up. back in here. So let's end with some more log. Why not? Be a good way Looking to end for it. A worthy challenger. Oh, look. I could do with a round. Got your attention, didn't I? <laughs> Come, let's play. Let us play. Very well then. Let us start.
kindly. Oh yeah. What's he saving up his his tokens for? Help for block. Okay, that seems uh, seems like a waste in my opinion, but. Interesting. Oh wow, okay, that, that's an interesting one. I, three additional dice, okay. Of course it's just sort of luck of the draw, I think, at that point. Good luck blocking that. He's gonna have to use a health thing. This will do. Nope. Why would you not use your this guy was pretty dumb. My, my. It has been a while since I met a worthy opponent. Another round. That is enough all luck for now. Okay, now this is bothering me that I can't find... I kind of want to get this Roman artifact too, but I can't... Is it above me or below me? Below me, okay. I thought that it might be. Easily, apparently. Oh, 
Let's, uh... Did I miss a treasure up there? Can't tell if I did or not. It's making, yeah, it's making me feel like I did. finish off this town if we can this episode and it's looking pretty good that's that guy we paid Obviously, got to shoot something here. Or did I try this one already and I couldn't? So I have to be able to shoot. on fire. Unbelievable. Alright. I think that takes care of everything in this town. I mean, you got that, but... Alright. I think it's going to be a good place to end it. So, come on back. And we'll pick up here.